mostly the FAQ section seems unwanted at initial level. But as your business start growing and people ask some uh, start asking some random stuff and questions, then we realize why big brands, almost every well set established company use the FAQ section on their product page. So it's important to keep all your customers doubt free and at the same time, save your time to answer the same repetitive questions or doubts. All right, adding a static FAQ section in your uh, Shopify store is a pretty straightforward and easy but the problem occurs when we want to want different questions and answer as per the product like for uh, different for beauty creams and hair shampoo or for uh, a t-shirt or a jeans surely every product is a different from others so it's really a best practice to show a uh, display you can say a related q and a content in form of uh, faqs to achieve this dynamic functionality, we were uh, we are gonna use uh, Shopify meta objects and meta fields. After watching this technique, you can also build your own other dynamic functions as well. Hello guys, I am Gaurav and you are watching Outbox Ads. Okay, let's first add the section into our product page. Click the customize button to customize the theme. Go, go to the product template and default product. I am using Shopify Dawn theme. So in this theme and probably uh, every theme has the dedicated FAQ section in Dawn theme. It's called, you can say collapsible, collapsible content, uh, AKA FAQ section. Let's add it and I will add some uh, data. You can say example data so it would be helpful to understand here it is i change some color settings and add the static data which is pretty easy for everyone okay let's check what happened on other product as you can see the same q and a content visible on this product as well which feels out of context as per the product so now you can understand it better the need of dynamic content very well so let's jump in jump into it let's create faq meta object for that you need to go uh, settings click custom data scroll down and click meta object and add definition here i need to write name i just write uh, faqs in description write something that you or your staff client may get the idea about the purpose meta object purpose this meta object purpose you can say i just write faq for products next add fields so in our case, first we need a single line text field. Let's give it a name. Let's say I just write question and for description, you can write something, write your question just to remember and click on add button. Our first uh, field added. Now let's create a second field. For that just uh, search rich text and the same give it a name like uh, answer can write description write your answer and click on add button okay now our two compatible meta object fields are ready now let's create the meta field to channelize this meta object data this process you may watch several times let's see closely this time also scroll up in metafield definition click products click add definition write its name so you will recognize it easily later i just write faqs 
write a description i just write select related q and a entries next select type is a very important click on it and select mat object and in a reference field select mat object we just uh, created earlier which is faqs and hit the save button now our meta objects and meta field work has been done now let's create some entries to display on product faq section for that go to content tab select the faq meta object we created and click on add entry and here you can see our meta object form here is the data fields required for our dynamic faq section so let's fill it quickly i already prepared some demo questions and answer to save time i just copy and paste it here for ease Okay, our first data entry is created. Uh, let's add other as well, others as well. I just fast forward it to save time. All right, I just created all my example data entries. You can see each have their questions and related answers. Now let's just quickly make a dynamic connection with the FAQ section. We added it on product page. This is our FAQ section. Let's make the dynamic connection. For that, I just removed previous static data and just keep uh, uh, one common question you can say. Uh, I will tell you shortly its purpose. Now just add a new block. And click on the top dynamic connection button. And select the available FAQs meta field. You can see it auto filled the required fields. Now it's ready to go. But there is a problem. Now you can see there is a no meta objects content visible in the section but why if you watched my dynamic sub collection videos probably you know the missing step or for better understanding you can watch just after this video so you will be double confirmed about the meta object functionality now let's move to our missing step Before moving to the next step, quickly I just want to tell you about my services. You can contact me for premium Shopify store building and setup, Shopify store redesign and customization. Then let's jump into product listing. Select the product. This is our demo product. I just select this. Go to the bottom. You can see our created FAQ meta field living here and we just need to select meta object entries we wanna display on this particular product. For example, I just select these four entries. Click save. Now let's add related entries to other products as well so we can uh, differentiate easily. Okay, let's check product page whether it's showing or not. Here is our first product. You can see our meta object FAQ data is showing very well. And let's check our second product as well. You can see our dynamic Q&A content is visible perfectly according to the product. This is what we actually needed. 
also you can see that one static data visible on both products actually on every product the main purpose behind this to display our same common questions that we want to display on every product so with dynamic q and a you can also dis, uh, apply static q and a or can say your static data so you won't need to repeat it unnecessarily every time with meta objects and entries and also the best part uh, as i told you you can also apply this same technique to other section or block as well to display your data dynamically please share and like the video don't forget to comment your learnings or doubts